Royal Enfield. It's the oldest existing motorcycle brand in the world. Pinakamatanda sila. Before that, they were manufacturing needles and bicycles in the town of Redditch, England. In 1901, they created their first motorcycle. Then Triumph followed a year later. Then followed by the Harleys and the Indians. Royal Enfield holds the oldest and never changed ever since. In 1932, they gave birth to the Icon, the Bullet 500. It was the most versatile motorcycle at that time. It has seen and used on World War II. Royal Enfield pioneered with many motorcycle innovation like any British machines. In 1952, it became associated with India when Madras Motors received 800 order for a 350cc bullet for the Indian Army's mobilization program. This founded Royal Enfield of India in 1955 and stayed there as long as we can remember. Japanese motorcycle brands suddenly became popular as they were more advanced, more efficient, far more reliable and affordable. This forced many small brands to close down due to lumping sales. Some major brands like Royal Enfield was affected and the factory in Redditch officially closed for business dahil lang masa ay pinipili ang mga Japanese models. But that was only in Redditch as Royal Enfield of India kept their doors open and kept manufacturing the same ancient motorcycles every day, quietly producing the units for the local market every day and did not give a shit what's happening on the outside world. In this case, if it's largely the same ancient machine from the past, then it would feel ancient until today. Currently, they offer models like the Bullet 350 and the 500 that vibrates like a machine gun and a thumper adventure bike designed by a former Ducati employee. Thanks to the millennial CEO, Royal Enfield finally picked up the pace and started innovating. In 2015, Royal Enfield bought Harris Performance based on the UK to help create the newly launched 650 Twins under the GTN Interceptor tag. This is the classic 500, derived and inspired from the 1932 model. This was launched back in 08, but barely even changed. This modern iteration still has all the things from 08 since it was introduced. It only received updates and improvements, and that's about it. Sa mundo ng mga motor, lahat nag-i-improve, lahat nagbabago ang itsura. Everyone wants to be dashing, sharp, and aggressive. But the Bullet 500 does not give a shit about everyone's opinion. It sells like that, and you get it like that. And that never changed that much. It retains the old looks of a proper motorcycle. If baguan ka or ignorante sa iba't ibang class ng motor, baka mapagkamala mo itong Harley or worse tricycle na naka open pipe because you really can't see the difference that much. Many manufacturers are creating classic iteration of their heritage motorcycles gaya ng BMW R9 T, Kawasaki W Series, Triumph Bonneville, and Ducati Scramblin, etc. While every manufacturer creates their heritage model that only feels half authentic, the bullet's design is 90% original. One look with the Royal Enfield Classic 500 and the design cue shows round and straight lines. There is no aggressive lines or sharp cues. You only see a motorcycle. You know a motorcycle when you see one. You can see the headlamp, gas tank, a chair, and an engine below. There is no other detail that would confuse you. Your brain processes the image and immediately tells you that what you're looking right now is a machine for commute and fun. Just by sitting on the Enfield, you know you are sitting on a machine. It gives you a throwback impression on what motorcycling felt like back in the 50s. Everything you touch feels deep. Himasin mo motor and it feels cold metal. It feels like you are sitting on an artillery on two wheels. 
And that is the first impression only. Wait till you start the engine. Royal Enfield markets their motorcycles as made like a gun. And that's true because when you start this 499cc single cylinder 2 valve engine, you are in for a surprise. The incredible vibration of the engine creeps in everywhere. You can feel the cylinder moving up and down, up and down, and up and down she goes burning fuel and releasing mechanical energy to the flywheel. It feels like a machine, parang diesel powered the train on two wheels. The exhaust on idle alone is loud thanks to the straight megaphone like pipe. Turn the throttle in a deep loud rumble of the single sinks. Potato, 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 potato. It feels authentic. It feels like 1950s. Squeeze the throttle and you would immediately know why Royal Enfield calls it made like a gun. It accelerates so strong as most of the torque is found as early as 4000 RPM. It moves this hunk of metal forward. Speed is out of the question as this is not designed to have speeds of a modern motorcycle. It only has 27 horsepower as early as 5000 RPM and you would not feel it because what you feel is mostly torque and the byproduct of single cylinder engines. Enormous vibrations. It feels like a machine gun. When you rev it above 4000 RPM, it begins to sound like a V twin. Sobrang lakas na exhaust. Malayo ka palang maririnig mo na. Let the engine break and pumuputok putok pa ang exhaust na parang may namamarel. It sings loud and proud and everyone turns head para alamin at hanapin ang kakaibang tunog ng helicopter sa lupa. It's a machine alright. 10% of the motorcycle is made with plastic. The rest is made with metal. For a 500cc class motorcycle, it weighs as much as the moon. With a curb weight of 194 kg, it feels heavy to push around. So sobrang bigat, training yourself para hindi matumba is a must. Center stand pa lang is hard work, so may time na mas maigi na lang na mag side stand. It looks crude and unrefined, yet when you sit on it, it feels comfortable. The chair is soft and planted, same as the rear passenger sofa. Good thing madaling tanggalin at i-customize ito dahil napapagkamalang na tricycle na naka-open pipe lang ito if you would not remove the rear seat. Despite the crudeness, the ride feels plush and smooth thanks to the large diameter front forks with a healthy suspension travel and the rear suspension is a twin adjustable unit. Unlike other motorcycles and retro wannabes, the classic 500 have and has been using spokes and the same wheel size of 19 inch on the front and 18 on the rear. This combined with great suspension setup makes it super capable to handle roads with imperfections which why this model alone is pretty capable on Indian roads paano pa kaya dito sa Pilipinas sobrang ganda ng ride quality sobrang suave you would not even feel those minor bumps and humps the classic 500 is not for everybody as sa mundong ito everyone wants to be ahead of the pack always changing always innovating sharp lines aggressive stance more aerodynamic and more futuristic in design but not everyone wants to be like that which is why manufacturers create retro models but it loses its soul trying to be something that's not it parang harley davidson gawa sila ng gawa ng iba't ibang model meron silang adventure bike meron silang sport bike meron silang naked but it's not them that's it's not harley davidson Royal Enfield Motorcycles has been creating the same motorcycle since then, and it never changed. It stayed and continued to build the same motorcycles every day. The purpose of the machine remains. The rich character and history of the bike remains. The soul remains. Royal Enfield is all about pure motorcycle, unfazed and unchanged.